Hello everyone. It's me, Philippe Teacher. And as you know, I'm your art teacher. Hmm, very excited for that. And it's actually my first time teaching the five-year-olds art. And I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to meet you guys and help you guys make some really awesome art. And for my six-year-olds, I already teach you guys art and I know some of you are great drawers and incredible artists, right? So art, it's all about having fun, learning something new while you appreciating the art, learning new colors, new shapes, maybe some different artist names or the story behind the painting. There's so much we can learn from art. And there's many different forms of art. Music is also a form of art. Painting is a form of art, right? And the fun thing about this project is we sketch something. This is our sketchbook, which means we can color something, using our hands and we can also make craft, right? Sometimes we can make something. As you know, this book gives us both things we can do. We can make something that we can take home and we can keep it for us. And we can also make awesome art by drawing or coloring. So some of the materials we need for this class is some crayons, right? Different colors of crayons, maybe pencil, and teacher always like to encourage you guys to think outside the box. Make sure that you also use your imagination and do something different. When it comes to art, you can glue something into your artwork if you want. You can use different colors. You can make something. Depends on what you're feeling, right? That's the fun thing about art. So let's get started. This is our book for this month of September and I am very very excited about this new book. In this book we'll be talking about transportation and autumn. So number one is transportation. Repeat after me. Transportation and autumn. Right? Autumn and transportation. Transportation is what we need to get from one place to another. For example, you need transportation to come from home to school. In this case, some of you use bus as a transportation. Some people use mom's car. Mom comes and drops you off at school. It depends, right? Most of you use the bus or sometimes even riding a scooter. To school is a form of transportation and as you know autumn is one of the seasons right we have spring fall and autumn is the mood right it sets the mood autumn right so let's talk about transportation first you cannot wait teacher's gonna turn the lights off so you can see a little bit better there you go and this is our page number one. So let's do it together and let's read it together, right? Get your page number one, open nice and wide, and let's read it together with teacher. Transportation. In a pretty town, there is a red balloon. Who is riding in a red balloon? And who lives in these pretty houses? Here is the red balloon, right? You can see right up in the sky. And these are little houses. You see that? Different shapes. Who can see a square over here? A black square. There's a triangle here, red triangle. The red balloon itself is a circle, right? Rectangle over here. So this painting. The artist used different shapes to make this painting. And 
use different colors too. Pretty much use all the colors. This is a little bit of green over here, right? Yellow with a little bit of blue. There is some traces of purple here, which is really cool. And I really like the red balloon in the middle. Usually the middle so you can look at it, right? It's where your eyes see the most, is the red balloon. And the name of this painting is Red Balloon. And it's from 1922. And the artist's name is Paul Klee. Very, very cool. Next page, okay? Let's turn our book to the next page. Wow. Wow. A flying balloon. Look at the sky. Whoa. It's a great hot air balloon. A man is flying in it. What do you think he is doing? There is a little boy. Yahoo! I'm going to fly up to the sky. He's holding a balloon and it's going to fly up. Wow! Can you fly in a balloon? No, it's very dangerous. Be careful. And here is the painting. Wow, that's a very pretty hot air balloon. What color is it? It's yellow and red, right? And who can see some birds in this picture? Can you see birds in this painting? Teacher can see some birds flying. He's very high up in the sky, right? There's the clouds, the white clouds, the blue sky. That is a beautiful painting. The name of this painting is The Balloon and it's from 1878. Wow, that's very, very old. Long time ago. And the artist is Paul Janet Mercer. Very cool. What do you think he's doing? What does it look like this man is doing? Is he feeding the birds? Or is he taking a picture? Who can tell me what is he doing? Think about it. It's a really cool picture. I love to fly on a hot air balloon. Looks very fun. Awesome work. Nice work. And you can see even trees over here, right? Beautiful. Okay, next page. Wow, look at all that. Page number three. In the air. Some vehicles go up in the air. What are things that can fly? Which one of these do you ride in? And here, repeat after me. Parachute. Airplane, hang glider, helicopter, hot air balloon, rocket, and here we have a little boy playing with a spaceship. See that? Very cool little spaceship. So one more time, repeat after me. Parachute, rocket, airplane, hot air balloon, helicopter hang glider, right? The hang glider looks really cool. Who can see that? Wow. Now who can tell me what can you ride in? Let's think about it. Can you ride in a helicopter? Yes, you can. Can you ride on a hang glider? He's riding on it. I don't want to ride on one. It looks scary. But you can. What about an airplane? You can ride on an airplane, right? It's a form of transport. And we know we can ride on a hot air balloon. Astronauts also ride on a rocket to go to the moon. Right? Very cool. And the parachute flying up in the sky. Very, very cool. 
all of these are from up in the air, right? They're all in the sky. Very cool. Let's turn to the next page. Wow. Page number four. Fun balloons. Flying is so much fun. Look, the hot air balloons in the paintings are flying up, up, and up. Which balloon do you think is flying the highest? Now, highest. Which one is flying the highest over here? Is this one over here? Who can say highest? One more time, highest, right? What about this one over here? That's flying pretty high too, huh? But which one is highest? This or this? I think is this one here, right? When you see, this is highest, see? Very cool. One more time, highest. Right? This is a beautiful painting too, right? Who can see a boat in here? There's a boat. There's a biplane, an aircraft, and a hot air balloon. That is a beautiful painting. Wow, the name of this painting is View of the Bridge Cerberus from 1908. And it's done by the artist named Henry Rosau. What about this one over here? He looks like an artist, right? He looks like he's painting something. Wow, that's very cool. I like his hat. It's a very nice hat. And you can see there's a boat there too. And there's many, many flags in this boat. That is a cool boat. I like it. And a hot air balloon right up in the sky. Whoa, look at this. The clouds look so pretty. Can we say pretty? The clouds look so pretty. I love the clouds. If you look outside, you can see clouds, right? They're very pretty. The clouds look so pretty. Beautiful work. And the name of this painting right here is Self Portrait from 1890. And it's done by Henry Rosal as well. So these two paintings are from the same artist. The person that did this also did this. Do they look similar? Similar mood? Kind of, right? It looks kind of similar. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the next page. Let's see what we have in the next page. Wow. Here we have a little exercises to train your eye. Okay? Can you find these hot air balloons in the paintings? And here we have one two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four paintings. All right, let's get started. This one here is very easy, right? Because it's nice and red and looks like a circle. It's the same, right? So this red, the red hot air balloon is from this first painting, right? Red balloon. Very cool. What about this one over here? That is this one, right? Very unique. Yellow and red. Beautiful. Wow, that looks really nice. With a person inside the hot air balloon doing something, right? Really cool as well. Now let's take a look at this one over here. Wow. With a little square in the in the end of it. Let's take a look on the last page. Oops, this one. 
Which one is it? Is it this one over here? Or is this one over here? I think it's this one over here, right? Because of the little square there. See that? Which means this is the other one. Both are black hot air balloons. Yes, it is. You see that? Very, very cool. Now let's take a look on the next page. Now it's when we need to do something fun for us, right? We get to color or draw a pretty hot air balloon. Up, up, up in the sky. Draw a special hot air balloon that you would like to write in. So here, we can start drawing a pretty hot air balloon. And remember, teacher likes you to make it pretty, right? Makes it beautiful. You can make the sky, you can make clouds. There's clouds over here. You can make birds. You can make anything. Let's make a hot air balloon, right? First, the ropes hanging down. I'm just gonna make four big ropes. There you go, right? That looks cool. Can you see that? Here we can make different colors. What color is going to be your hot air balloon? You're just going to make There you go. That looks cool, right? I'm going to make red and blue. I have so much fun when I'm making this. And remember to say hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Oh, that is a pretty hot air balloon. It's just going to use red and blue. Red and blue. Cool, look at that. That looks nice, right? Make it beautiful, don't rush. Remember, teacher always say, don't rush your art. It's just like you're writing, you never rush. Make it beautiful, make it nice and neat. And don't forget to once we're back at school, bring your sketchbook so teacher can see your work. I'm very curious to see what you did. This is what I do. You're just gonna turn the light so you can see. There you go. That's kind of cool. I'm very happy with that. And don't forget, you can draw yourself in here, you can draw your family in your hot air balloon, or anybody you can think of. So, what are some of the things that we learned today? We learned about some beautiful paintings, right? And we also learned about hot air balloons. We learned about parachute how to say parachute. We also learned that we ride on the airplanes, helicopters, and we saw different paintings. And I hope you had a lot of fun like I did. So teacher, can't wait to see you guys back in the classroom. I hope you all are staying safe and have a beautiful day. And teacher, hope you had fun, right? Don't forget to make a beautiful drawing and bring it to class so I can see very, very soon. Okay? Bye, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Bye, teacher. Bye.